All right, everybody, today we're going to talk about combines. Now, I know a lot of you are on different paths in your trading. Some of you are trading on SEM. Some of you are trading your actually your, your own money. Some of you are trying to work through one of the virtual prop firm combines. And I want to speak to you. And, and even those of you who have actually passed a combine or recently passed a combine, this message is for you. Now, I have a lot of traders in the same boat. I have a lot of traders that I work with that are kind of all over the map in terms of, you know, kind of their source of funding. But I also have a lot of traders who've gone through combines or are going through combines. And out of those traders, I'm seeing a large number who are not able to actually deal with having the live account. So they go through the effort and are able to pass the, the combine, they get the live account, and then they blow it up, and then they have to start from scratch. If you've done that, if you've been in that boat before, or if you're working toward passing a combine, then I want you to consider doing three things before you start trading your funds, okay? So let's talk about those three things, okay? Thing number one is I want you to celebrate. And the reason is because we're so hard on ourselves as traders, aren't we? Like we're always up in our heads. We're always criticizing ourselves. We never hit our process perfectly. You know, we never, you know, maximize our profit target or we move to stop loss too early, right? There's all kinds of things that we can nitpick ourselves on. And we do that, you know, very in a very unhealthy way, I might add as well. But we do that all the time. This is not a moment for that. This is a moment for celebrating. This is a moment for you reinforcing to your brain that you can do this, that you are a consistently successful trader or becoming a consistently successful trader. Use this as evidence to build up your beliefs. OK, and you do that by celebrating it. Take a, you know, go out you know, celebrate, tell people about it, be excited about it, allow yourself to be excited about this. Sometimes we think, oh, let me just suppress the excitement because I don't know what's going to happen next. What happens next is going to take care of itself. Okay. Go celebrate, feel it. This is what you've been working for. Why are you afraid to feel the really great emotions that come with having success in your trading? So go and celebrate. I'm requiring it of you. Okay, number two, this may not sit well with a lot of you, but that's okay. You can choose to do whatever you want, but I'm telling you, you really ought to step away. So from the time that you pass your combine to the time that you start your live trading, I would offer for you that it's going to be beneficial to step away from trading just for a couple of days, right? Maybe a day, maybe two days, maybe three days, okay? Okay. I like three days. I, the number three is awesome for me. And the reason we want to step away is because this is a new thing for us, right? This is a new experience that we're having. And sometimes our brain needs a little bit of time to process that. You have just had this wonderful um, abundance dropped in your lap. And I know it wasn't really dropped in your lap. lap. You worked for it, right? But now you have a new abundance in your life. And sometimes our brain needs time to wrap its head around that and to process that celebration that we had, to process this new belief, you know, this new evidence of the belief we're building that we're consistently successful traders, right? It allows you also to, you know, not get wrapped up in the same fervor that you had when you were trading in your combine, right? That same energy where, you know, the stress and everything else de-stress a little bit. It allows you to relax. It allows you to refocus, maybe come back, start looking at your trades again. Okay. So take a few days off, right? Just give yourself a little bit of space. It's going to be very helpful, probably a little bit of un un a little uncomfortable for some of you who really feel like you need to be at the desk every day and you feel like you might be missing opportunities. In the long run, it's going to be better for you if you take some time off. Okay. And the third thing is what you can do in the time off, okay, which is to go back and revise your trade plan. And this is really important because when you look at the virtual prop firms and you look at their requirements for passing a combine, a lot of times trading the live account requirements are different. 
So there was one trader I was working with where they didn't have a trailing drawdown in their in their combine, but as soon as they got a live account, that prop firm instituted a trailing drawdown. That drastically changes your strategy and your approach that you should be taking around your trade management now that you have a trailing drawdown or if you don't have a trailing drawdown, right? So use a couple of days to go back through, take a look at what the requirements of the live account are and adjust your trade plan, right? Look at your size. Maybe you traded really big in your combine to try to get through faster, right? We can talk about that in another day. Like I have my opinions about that, but let's say that you did that. This is a good moment to reflect and kind of go back and resize appropriately. There is no rush. There's no rush now. You don't have a time bomb ticking. You know, you've passed this massive milestone, right? Take it slow. Like revise your trade plan in a way where you can slow down a little bit. You can, you can, you know, learn how to follow your process now that you have another level of pressure that's on you. Okay. And so I think you're going to find these three things very helpful, right? Celebrate reinforce to your brain all the positive stuff that's happened, take some time off, step away to allow yourself to process all of this good stuff, right, that's happened, and, and reorient your trade plan for trading a live account. And if you do these three things, you're going to put yourself in a much better situation for being able to successfully trade the live account and keep it than jumping right in with the same energy, the same level, and running into maybe potential problems down the road. All right, that's what I have to offer for you guys today. For those of you who've passed your combine recently, congratulations, it's a huge milestone, go celebrate. For those of you working toward it, keep at it, follow your process, follow your process, follow your process, and you're gonna get there. All right, happy trading.